Hi, my name is Maureen Spit. I would like to present a study that was performed in the Madelon Maurice lab in the Netherlands, and for which we joined forces with several national and international groups. This study shows that truncations of the tumor suppressor RNF43 trap CK1 to drive niche-independent self-renewal in cancer. In this work, we focus on the human colon that undergoes fast self-renewal during tissue homeostasis. The colon epithelium forms in vaginations called crypts. In these crypts, stem cells are located that highly depend on wind proteins produced by surrounding niche cells. Their rates of cell division is controlled by a gradient of wind signaling. If mutations occur in the regulatory genes of the wind pathway, this may result in amplified wind signaling levels. Enhanced wind signaling is causal to the formation of colorectal cancer. So how do these wind proteins operate? Wind signaling is initiated when a wind ligand binds to its receptors at the cell surface. The receptors transduce the signal to the nucleus, where the protein beta-catenin drives wind target gene transcription to activate cell division. Among the wind target genes are also negative feedback regulators. One of these is RNF43, a membrane-bound E3 ubiquitin ligase that is highly expressed in stem cells. RNF43 functions at the cell surface. Here it recognizes the wind receptors and mediates their ubiquitination and lysosomal degradation. As a result of receptor downregulation, wind signaling is decreased, and this restores the activity of this multiprotein destruction complex that mediates degradation of beta-catenin, which further suppresses wind signaling. The known functional domains of RNF43 are located in the N-terminal parts of the protein. So why does this protein have a large C-terminal tail? In our study, we show that besides the degradation of the wind receptors, the RNF43 C-terminal tail performs a second tumor suppressor role by interacting with and regulating the beta-catenin destruction complex. RNF43 is frequently mutated in colon cancer. Here, we identify a novel subclass of patient-derived RNF43 mutations that mediates C-terminal truncations of the protein. This subclass of RNF43 mutations shows oncogenic properties. Therefore, we refer to it as onco-RNF43. We found that the truncated protein traps part of the destruction complex, which mediates beta-catenin accumulation and its translocation to the nucleus, where it induces wind signaling in the absence of wind ligand. This is in contrast to previously described loss of function mutations that mediate accumulation of wind receptors due to the absence of RNF43 activity. This causes a state of wind hypersensitivity and a wind ligand dependent growth state of tumors. We have modeled onco-RNF43 mutations in human colon organoids and confirmed their ability to drive wind signaling. Importantly, while treatment with inhibitors of wind production are known to block the growth of RNF43 loss of function organoids, we find that onco-RNF43 expressing organoids display a strongly decreased sensitivity to these inhibitors. Our study illustrates the importance of examining patient-derived mutations, not only to understand disease mechanisms, but also to improve the applications of precision medicine.